Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to explore acute myeloid leukemia, commonly referred to as AML, a serious and complex type of cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow. AML is a form of leukemia that primarily impacts myeloid cells, which are a type of blood cell responsible for various functions, including fighting infections and carrying oxygen. This condition develops when there is an abnormal proliferation of immature myeloid cells, leading to a compromised ability to produce healthy blood cells. To understand AML better, let's first talk about the basic anatomy of blood cells. There are three main types of blood cells in our bodies. Red blood cells, which carry oxygen, white blood cells, which are part of the immune system, and platelets, which help with blood clotting. AML disrupts the production of these cells, which can result in symptoms such as fatigue, increased infections, and easy bruising or bleeding. Acute myeloid leukemia is characterized by its rapid onset and progression. Unlike chronic leukemias, which develop slowly and can often be managed over a longer period, AML requires immediate attention. The onset of symptoms can occur suddenly and may vary from person to person. Common symptoms include fever, unexplained weight loss, bone pain, and swelling in the abdomen or lymph nodes. One of the hallmark symptoms is the presence of leukemic cells in the blood or bone marrow. Now, let's discuss the different risk factors associated with AML. While the exact cause of AML is not fully understood, certain factors have been identified that may increase the likelihood of developing this disease. These include age, as the risk increases significantly for individuals over 65, previous chemotherapy or radiation therapy for other cancers, exposure to certain chemicals, such as benzene, and genetic predispositions. Some hereditary syndromes, like Down syndrome, also increase the risk of developing leukemia. AML is typically diagnosed through a combination of blood tests and bone marrow biopsy. Blood tests can reveal the presence of excess immature white blood cells, while a bone marrow biopsy allows doctors to examine the bone marrow directly for signs of leukemia. Once diagnosed, the classification of AML can be further refined into subtypes based on genetic and molecular characteristics. These subtypes are crucial in determining the appropriate treatment plan. The treatment for AML often begins with intensive chemotherapy, designed to destroy the rapidly dividing leukemic cells. One of the common regimens is called 7 plus 3, which consists of 7 days of cytarabine combined with 3 days of an anthracycline antibiotic, such as donorubicin. While chemotherapy is the mainstay of treatment, stem cell transplantation may be considered in certain cases, especially for older patients or those with high-risk features. Preparation for treatment may also involve supportive care to manage symptoms and side effects. This can include transfusions for low blood counts, antibiotics to fight infections, and medications to manage nausea. Participation in clinical trials is also an option for many patients, providing access to new therapies that may be more effective. Following initial treatment, patients are monitored closely for signs of remission or relapse. Unfortunately, despite aggressive treatment strategies, AML can be quite challenging to treat effectively, and the risk of recurrence is high. Regular follow-ups and blood tests are essential to ensure that any emerging cancer cells are detected early. Survival rates for AML have improved over the past few decades, but they still vary widely depending on factors such as age, overall health, specific genetic mutations, and how well the disease responds to treatment. The prognosis is generally more favorable for younger patients and those with certain genetic markers associated with a better response to treatment. In summary, acute myeloid leukemia is a complex and urgent disease that requires a comprehensive approach to treatment. Awareness and understanding of this condition can lead to earlier detection and better outcomes for patients. If you or someone you know is facing a diagnosis of AML, remember that support is available through healthcare professionals, support groups, and resources tailored to individuals with blood cancers. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has helped shed light on acute myeloid leukemia. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to help spread awareness about this important topic. Stay informed and take care.